Welcome to the Art Lady Channel, and this is part two of our Mother's Day English ceramic pins. And these are third grade examples that we've just finished. The pin that we made, or the or the brooch that we made, came out of the kiln. Our gray clay turned white from firing, and now we're putting a wash on. What I did was I had the kids, here's my example of the one that came from England. I had the kids, um, we, I put, I put, I hot glued a pin on the back before they started painting. And then we used a wash of watercolor on top just to give a light value of color. We wanted pastel colors like you see here. And to do that, you dip in to water, make sure you have a clean brush. And I'll show you over here, we are barely using any color. Now that's kind of dark. If you want less, you've got to barely touch your color. We just want a light wash of color on top. If we put too much, this watercolor will wash off. And we go ahead and just do light values of color, working it up with watercolor. If you spray this, you can spray it lightly with a spray fix if you'd like to help, or, or a clear shellac. That'll help prevent it from washing off. But I found that if we just use light values of color like this, then we get a nice effect. Remember, the more you swirl into the color, the darker it will be. Adding water to the color gives us a light value. We can even layer some color if you'd like here. I'm gonna put a little bit on the edges. Maybe I'll put a little bit of orange edge to that to create some depth on those flowers. And then if you look on this porcelain pin, it has a lot of this lime green or yellow green in the leaves. And it really looks kind of cool with a yellow green background. Or you can choose any color background that you'd like and have fun painting your Mother's Day pins. <laughs> 